In this video, we're going to take a look at the different material editor modes, followed by how we can change the number of sample windows, and last, how to populate the material editor using the eyedropper tool. If you want to modify the materials on the front loader, you need to do this in the material editor. So we'll go up here and click on the material editor icon to open it, or you can use the M shortcut on the keyboard. Um, by default, it will open up the Slate Material Editor, which is a node-based editor. Um, it's a nice visual representation uh, of our material, and it's great when we have complex materials. But on the other hand, it is a little daunting to work with at first, and we don't really need this at this point. So um, I prefer to use the Compact Material Editor, which is easier uh, to get grips with. So I'm going to set this up with the way that I prefer to work. So the way it works is that we have these slots which allow us to uh, modify existing materials or work on new ones. We have a maximum of 24, but we don't see all of them at the same time. Right now we only have six, and I prefer to see all of them at the same time. So I'm going to right-click on any of these uh, slots and then choose 6 by 4 And just in case, since we, we only have 24 uh, material slots, that doesn't mean that we can only have a maximum of 24 materials at a time. It just means that we can only work on 24, a maximum of 24 materials on the scene. We can have 100, uh, 200 materials in the scene, but only work on 24 different ones at a time, which I'll be honest, it, it's, I've never really had much problem uh, with that limit. Um, you'll see how this works um, as we go through this project. So we should start populating these slots with the materials on our front loader. And the way we do that is we select an empty slot. We'll see what that looks like in a second. Click on the eyedropper and then click on an object. So let's say we'll click on the tire here. And you can see now that it has populated this slot. And also uh, we should take this opportunity to, then to name this to something uh, more descriptive um, other than material and in this case 298 so I'm going to for example um, type tires and we just continue on so I'm going to select an empty slot and I can tell it's empty because you can see this slot here has this triangle or these triangles on the side and what this means is, is that the material here uh, that we have here is actually linked to something that exists in the scene so if I were to change this, that's going to change something in the scene. Whereas if I were to, let's say on this one, which is empty, start working on this material, nothing is, is happening. So I can go and change this to red. And I know that it's not going to actually modify anything because it's not linked to anything. Um, whereas here, if I were to change this to, let's say, a darker shade of gray, you can see the effect on the tires. And note that it didn't just change this tire that I clicked on, but all four of them because all four tires have the same material. So it is possible for multiple objects to have the same material. Um, so let's say I'll go here now and I want the yellow paint. So I'll click on the arm and let's call this yellow paint. And I would verify, or if I want to visually see what this material is applied on, because remember, we can have multiple uh, objects with the same material. You can do that just by, let's say, clicking on diffuse and then changing the color to something uh, fairly different. So in this case, red. And you can see that it changed uh, these parts. So now I know that these parts contain the same material. And all we need to do is just keep on um, populating the rest of the slots that we have here. So one more time, click on an empty slot, click on an object. In this case, this is the window, or at least I believe it to be the window. But I can verify, again, by changing the diffuse to something different to see what it looks like. And yes, um, confirm that is the, the window panes that we see here.